and it is very unpleasant. Actually, I would like to get a draw now. I see that I don't like my position. Let's try to repeat moves if he wishes, of course. But as a white, I have worse game. Yes, I have now to play very carefully. So, queen to b4. Well, so far, Walter Brown has spent one hour and 19 minutes. Hort spent 57 minutes playing slightly quicker, but not happy about his position. Where is his particular weakness? Yes, the opening's been rather a flop for White, really. Um, I think he opened the position too early with this e4 move. Uh, in a position with knights against bishops, really, uh, the openness of the position favours the bishops, which need open lines to act. And now these, these two black bishops are really threatening to come into the game. Um, Brown wants to play d5 to chase away this knight from e4, followed by e5, demolishing White's centre, opening the game. Uh, as well as this, he has pressure on the f-file. I think it's, it's too early to say that White has a bad game, but he's certainly on the defensive. Right, let's rejoin it with Walter Brown to play his 20th move. Of course, it's too bad he didn't think more on this move. I was trying to gain some time on the clock, and I'm kind of short of time. I really played knight a5 just to see what he'd do. I think I'm better, and I don't want to draw. I'll play knight c6. That way, if he tries to take on d6, I'll just play queen e7, which would probably embarrass him. I don't think he'll fall for it, but I'll play it anyway. Knight c6. So now, quick, don't lose time, please. Last email. I have to come back with queen. Queen to b3. Yeah, I wish he'd thought more. And what do I do? Don't have that much time. e5 is a little risky. I really like the idea of playing d5. I think I'll threaten it with king a8. That is nasty surprise for me. I believe that he might get draw by moves repeating, but after this move I see that I cannot keep center anymore. I have many moves here, but I don't think they are good. If I play bishop d3, actually my move bishop c2, I'm very sorry about it now. I cannot play with my bishop right, and I see that after bishop d3 he can even sacrifice like g4, knight to h4, bishop takes d4 d5, knight, d2, then bishop takes d4, and I am losing. Uh, well, actually, I get two pieces for a rook and two pawns, but I don't like it because I'm still hanging on f2. I don't know what is the best move now. I have just to hope for defense, because my position is bad. I, well, I'm losing time now. It is another critical point in the game. Yes, I will move my queen. Queen to a3. Hmm, I guess he saw the threat. After rook de1, I intended g4, knight h4, bishop takes d4. Well, not bishop takes d4, I meant d5. And then after knight d2, bishop takes d4, takes, knight takes d4, queen e3, knight takes e2, rook takes e2, because he has to protect f2, and then bishop b5. So of course, he could play bishop d3, maybe. Well, that's not so clear. Anyway, he avoided it. But now I have g4, and then I can play d5 and e5. That must be better for black. What's he going to do? Is he going to play knight g6? Then I play rook f e8. He takes twice on e5. I have an open game. His queen's a little offside on a3. Looks wonderful. I'll play g4. Yes, now I see that I really have a bad day today. Of course, he receive better game now. I don't like to play now knight to h4 because after d5, knight d2, e5, knight g6, he can even sacrifice exchange, I'm afraid very much. e takes d4, knight takes h, knight takes f8, bishop takes f8, attacking my queen, I don't have right square for it. Yes, I think that I have to go back with my knight. Knight to e1. Hmm, that's a bit of a surprise. I thought he intended knight h4. But it doesn't matter. d5 is very strong anyway. He has to play knight d2. Must be right. d5. I have only one square now for my knight. Knight to d2. Well, I intended e5. Must be right. Opens up the game for my two bishops, and his pieces are in, the clum in clumsy positions. I'll play e5. I have only chance for a good defense. I have to take it. 
d takes e5. Hmm. Taking with a knight is very natural, but if I take with a bishop, I threaten bishop d6. It's very interesting. Probably you would play queen a6 or something like that. And then I could play bishop back to g7, but maybe he has knight d3 to, and the knight will go to f4. We can put up some resistance. Now if I play knight takes e5, he plays f4, I take on f3. That looks pretty good. I'll play knight takes e5. Yes, I'm definitely worse here. I have just to defend and hope for time trouble so that he can spoil his nice game. Well, of course I'm worse. I have to change this knight because black knight is very active. So, knight to d3. Hmm, I thought f4 was a better chance. Of course, now knight c4 is a little double-edged. Well, what shall I do? Looks like taking a bishop f5 is good. I don't like to give up the two bishops, but I gain some real tempos, and d4 will be very strong later. I'll play knight takes d3. He plays it simply. I see his intention. Actually, I'm afraid that I will not keep this game. Yes, later on he comes, opening d file. I have to take now. Bishop takes d3. Of course, he couldn't have played rook e7 because I would have played queen g6. What else besides bishop f5? He is threatening maybe rook e7, some chance. c5 is very strong. Very strong. His queen is in a bad position. His pieces don't have any squares. My black bishop is fantastic. But I'll just play bishop f5. That is unpleasant. That is unpleasant. What now? Well, my pieces are a little bit disorganized. Maybe I have to play knight to b3. I don't like knight to f1. He can play d4, then I blockade by c4, but because my knight is terrible. Yes, I have to play some tricky line. I already see that my king will be weakened later, but I have to play move on which I rely, actually. Queen to a6. I figured he'd try that. It's the most active. And of course, if he took on f5, I would have taken back. King a1 and then d4 would have been a crush. I would have pinned him up, won a piece, or queen c2 later would have been devastating. He's playing the best move. The question is, should I play d4? He has a tricky move, bishop e4 check, and then I get a take. His knight gets to a good position. Of course, after d4, he can't play c4 because the bishop would hang. And if he takes on f5, I take back, and then I take on c3, that wins. What can he do? If he takes on d4, I take with a rook, takes, take back with check, double the rooks. That's winning easy. Let's play d4. It is unpleasant. My king will be unsafe, but yes, I have to change the bishop. I will play. Actually, I will have now one threat in the game. I never threat anything in this game. So I just check him, bishop e4. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably the best. Wish he'd taken the bishop. Now the question is, should I play c6? It's a very funny move. Then if he takes on d4, I just take back, and it looks very strong. But perhaps he could play c4. Is that possible? Well, I intended to take on e4. It looks good. Bishop takes e4 check. Now I have to take this knight, because otherwise I would be pinned on d-line. So... Let's play quickly. Knight takes e4. Well, that was his only move. And now, well, I have to keep going. I have an initiative and I have to keep it. I'm going to play d takes c3. Yes, of course. My king will be in a danger. But now I don't see another move than just changing the rook. Rook takes d8 check. Hmm, that's a bit of a surprise. I thought he would play knight takes c3. And then I had queen f5 check. And then after king c1, rook takes d1 check, and his king had to be open. This may be an improvement. Anyway, I have to play rook takes d8. Now, shall I take on c3 with 9? No, I don't like it. Then I will receive check, queen to f5, and I don't like it. I think that I have to try to keep my knight on e4. 
actually I can later support it by f2, f3. So I will just take by pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Hmm, that's a surprise. I thought he would take with a knight. Very surprising. His knight's not so bad on e4. Hmm, maybe he's got a chance, but his king is open. I thought this would practically win. I have to be careful. I can't move my rook up because of queen c8 mate. That's dangerous. But if I centralize, he's going to be in trouble. What can he do after queen d5? He can't play rook d2. Hmm. Can't move his queen to c4. Wonder what he'll do on queen d5. It looks right. And then I can play king b8 after. Okay, queen d5. Well, they're both coming up to a certain amount of time trouble. Bill, why do you think it is that um, Lester Milford has got himself into such difficulties in this game? It's almost he doesn't feel very well. <laughs> I know uh, some years ago, Hort was very worried about his biorhythms, and he used to lose games when his biorhythm chart predicted a bad day for him, but I think he's got over that. I think, actually, he's also got over the difficulties of this position. This knight on e4 is really a very good defensive piece. Um, I, the, the queen and rook are, are of course, powerful... Uh, attacking force on this open D line, but I think Hort is, is now defending okay. He's clearly worse and he's on the defensive, but I, I think he should hold it now. Well, let's go up to the time control, two hours, by which time I have to play 40 moves with you, Bill. Yeah, he's bringing the king out to stop this threat of queen D1 check. Queen coming back to C6, looking for another entry into the game. The king comes forward, that's very brave. But the white queen is defending all these, these white squares that the black, and black's just repeating moves, trying a check. King will come back again, of course, quickly. And Brown won't want to draw. No, he's, he's coming into the white position. That's an interesting move, rook e3. I think he just wants to bring the queen back to e2. Yes, and the king moves away from a8 to allow the black rook to enter the game. There was this queen c8 mate threat. Queen comes back, driving out this black queen. This knight is so strong on e4, it's, it, it protects the weak c3 square. Hello, he moved it away. Don't know why. a5, yes, Brown seeing the knight come to b3. Brown's playing very well in his time trouble. He has only a minute or so left. I don't know why this knight's run away from e4. It looked so good there. And it's going to get chased away from, from b3 with, with this, this a pawn advancing to a4. I think he'd have done better to keep it on the e4 square. Trying to exchange rooks. If he exchanges rooks, he's quite okay. Black then wouldn't have enough to attack with. But, of course, Brown doesn't exchange rooks. Attacking the white queen, moving the rook to the e file. Right, well, they've both reached the time control. 40 moves in... Two hours, a minute to spare, two minutes to spare. They now have to play all the rest of their moves in this game in one hour. Let's rejoin it with Vlastimil Hort White to play his 41st move. Well, now he's better, I see it, but still I will have some threat. Actually, I am more happier now with my position. I think that I can still put on some fight. So, I have to move my king, king to b2, threatening rook d2. Well, time trouble is over. I don't know whether I improve my position. I think I actually I did not done well. Yes. I will play queen to d2. Hmm. So rook e3 was a little better. Now, I want to play a4 and then maybe a3, get his king in a net. I don't want to let him trade rooks, but if I play king to b7, he has rook d7 and maybe queen d5 check. He might have a chance in that ending. But if I play queen c6, rook to d8 check, I trade rooks and then I just play king b7, he's got problems with the pawn on c3 and g2. Yes, queen c6. My pawn is hanging. I have to control square e4, so I will play f2, f3. So that's what he was thinking so long about. I thought f4 was natural, but this may be better. The way if he ever gets a knight to e4, it'll be supported. Also, I can't take advantage of the square so easily. Well, I don't want to let him trade rooks. I'd like to play a4, but it's not so clear. He plays knight d4, I take, and if he takes with a rook, queen b5 check, and 
rookie two. That must win, but could take with a pawn. That's not so simple. I think I'll play king b7. I don't see anything good for me. I just have to wait. So I will move my knight. Knight to c1. Hmm. I thought knight d4 was a little better. This is kind of strange. Well, maybe he wants to go to e2 and then therefore well, At least he stops my rook from getting to the 7th. Still, I don't understand this move very well. I'd like to play a4, but... Rook e5. Looks interesting. Stop him from going to the 5th. And my rook will be very strong in the 4th. And I threaten rook check. It also stops queen g5. That must be good. Rook e5. I have still to wait. I will come back with my knight. Knight to b3. Yeah, that's probably his best chance. But what is he going to do after a4? If he plays knight d4, I play queen c4. Rook e3. Is that possible? But then I could pin him with rook d5. Or he even can play a3 check. He's got to go back. That looks bad. I'm going to play a4. Yes, but now at least square a4 is covered by black pawn. I don't want to go on d4. I have to go back. I have to play modestly. Knight to c1. Hmm. He's just waiting. I think I have a one game. I don't I don't think he should be playing like this. I'm very surprised. Well, I could play a check, but I'll just play rook c5. Tie him up. And the Hort's really in absolutely desperate trouble here now. With this pawn on c3 attacked by queen, rook, bishop, he's totally tied down to its defense. Also, the weakness is on the other side. He has to guard these pawns. The kings try to escape from this, this diagonal of the bishop, getting the pawn out of the pin. But it's gone into another pin on the c file, and now this b5 pawn coming to b4. It stopped it with a pawn on a3, but now that pawn's a weakness. Brown's playing this excellently. Hort's even behind on time now. Trying to come in with another di from another direction with the queen. Absolutely desperate for Hort. Queen attacked. And the bishop comes to f8. That's the key move. Bishop attacking this pawn on a3. Rook attacks the queen. And Brown's happy now to exchange rooks. He wasn't earlier, but now this pawn, this pawn's a goner. He knows he's just going to be able to win with this, this a pawn. White could almost resign here, but Hort's going to play on to the last breath. Queen coming in to join in this attack. Knight attacks the queen. Queen comes in, check. And Hort's heading for the hills with his king. And there goes that pawn. And now it's, it's going to be very easy for black. Brown's got enough time to do it, too. I really don't know why Hort's playing on. Presumably he's waiting for the cavalry to come and save him, but he's, anyway, if he can hang on for another three or four minutes, he could yet draw. He could yet win. I can't see Brown mucking this one up. Hort's king's really running for its life here. And there goes the knight. Now it's just a straight queen ending. You, you can draw queen endings a pawn down if, if the enemy king is exposed, but, but it's Hort's king here that's, that's in trouble. Black king's quite safe. And there goes this, this a pawn. Brown wants two queens. And you'll see how little time Hort has less than a minute. Yes, yes, it's Hort who's in time trouble. His only hope here is that Brown falls asleep. Now the queen's covering the, the queening square of the pawn. I need a queen. <laughs> Hello, haven't we got a spare queen? Ah, oh, yeah, upside down rook. That's what you use. Hort's having a few checks, but the, the king has shelter behind its own. And horns. here now, Hort, really, with less than half a minute. Brown, still two minutes. Brown, not in great time trouble, remarkably. No, with an ending like this, you don't need two minutes to win. Uh, I think Hort would, would normally just resign a position like this. He's just desperate last hope that these strange time rules of all the moves in, in one hour will, will confuse Brown. Still trying to keep his queen active. That's discovered check from the, from the upside down rook. He was trying to shelter behind that black pawn. Now he's had to take it. Really, with two queens, you, you mate so very and easily. Again, Hort's clock within seconds of falling. Yes, it's, he hasn't got long to live. It seems to be a question of whether Brown mates Hort before Hort loses on time. Yes, Brown with over a minute to go. Hort, Just seconds. seconds, yes. Now what? 
Oh, they're still playing. Yeah, Brown wants three queens now. And the flag has dropped, and Hort, not even against three queens, but he's lost. Yes, I resign. Not actually, it's the same. It's Maybe G4 if you trade. Well, a most dramatic and exciting end to Group A with uh, Walter Brown winning and going through to the final of the Master Game. And who he meets in the final depends entirely on next week's game. If we have a look at the Group B board, we can see that Victor Korchnoi has managed to pull up to two points. Uh, but he's got played one game more than Lothar Schmidt, who beat him in the first round. And Schmidt next week plays the American Grandmaster, Robert Byrne. Everything depends on that game. If Schmidt can draw with Byrne, then he goes through to the final to join Walter Brown. Until next week, when we shall see what happens from all of us here in Bristol. Good night.